hello viewers in today's class we are going to solve yet another problem from definite integrals right so uh, viewers uh, concepts in mathematics are very important and concepts play a very vital role in mathematics and here in this problem uh, we are going to uh, use uh, some concepts uh, related to absolute value function right so we'll solve this uh, problem by trigonometric substitution and uh, then we'll apply the concept of absolute value function right and uh, moreover this uh, problem can be solved by uh, a direct uh, formula and we'll take uh, uh, that concept in our uh, another uh, lecture right so uh, let us uh, solve this problem so let us first call this integral as i right now see here the limits of integration are from minus 3 to 1 and the integrand is square root of 3 minus 2x minus x square right so uh, let us uh, first uh, express uh, this uh, uh, quadratic form that is uh, 3 minus 2x minus x square uh, in terms of uh, a perfect square right so we can write it as uh, uh, taking minus uh, common here so we have 2x plus x square and now uh, we can uh, write it x plus 1 whole square and here we can write minus 1 and uh, uh, this can be written as 3 minus x plus 1 uh, whole square plus 1 and we have 4 minus x plus 1 square right so we have expressed uh, this uh, uh, quadratic polynomial uh, as a perfect square so therefore uh, now our integral it becomes or it looks like minus 3 to 1 and here we have a square root of 4 minus x plus 1 square right okay now at this step uh, we'll make uh, a trigonometric substitution right so uh, let us uh, uh, put uh, x plus 1 is uh, equal to uh, 2 sine theta right because x plus 1 uh, square it becomes uh, 4 sine square theta right and when we'll put uh, uh, here 4 sine square theta we can take 4 common and we'll have 1 minus sine square theta that is cos square theta so this is a very uh, common uh, substitution and so uh, here we'll substitute x plus 1 is equal to 2 sine theta now uh, from here uh, if we differentiate both sides we get dx is equal to uh, 2 cos theta right so dx is equal to uh, 2 cos theta d theta and uh, here x varies from minus 3 to uh, 1 so let us uh, uh, change the limits accordingly so when x is minus 3 then uh, from here we have minus 3 plus 1 is equal to 2 sine theta and uh, this is minus 2 and 2 sine theta and sine theta is equal to uh, 2 and 2 get cancelled so this is minus 1 so theta is 3 pi by 2 right and similarly when x is equal to 1 uh, we have uh, 1 plus 1 is equal to 2 sine theta and this is 2 is equal to 2 sine theta 2 and 2 get cancelled and we have sine theta is equal to 1 so theta is equal to uh, pi over 2 right so when x varies from minus 3 to 1 then theta varies from 3 pi by 2 to pi by 2 right so now uh, this integral i can be uh, written as uh, uh, 3 pi by 2 uh, to pi by 2 and uh, we'll have a square root of uh, here we have uh, 4 then this is 4 minus uh, x plus 1 is 2 sine theta so we have uh, 4 sine square theta and for dx we can write uh, 2 cos theta d theta right and uh, this term that is the square root of 
फोर माइनस फोर साइन स्क्वायर थीटा इज इक्वल टू स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ फोर वन माइनस साइन स्क्वायर थीटा एंड दिस इज वी कैन टेक फोर आउट साइड सो वी हैव टू स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ फोर इज टू एंड हियर वी कैन राइट स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ कॉस स्क्वायर थीटा राइट सो नाउ हियर दिस इंटीग्रल आई becomes 3 pi by 2 2 pi by 2 and here we have 2 times square root of uh, cos square theta and 2 cos theta d theta right and now uh, we can take 2 uh, times 2 that is 4 outside and we have 3 pi by 2 2 pi by 2 and now viewers here for square root of uh, Uh, cos square theta uh, we can write mod of cos theta right this is uh, because of the definition of absolute value function right because uh, uh, mod of uh, y can be written as uh, square root of uh, uh, y square right okay so now here we have mod of uh, cos uh, theta for this term and here we have uh, cos theta d theta right now see here uh, the limits vary from 3 pi by 2 to 2 pi by 2 now we have the quadrants and here we have pi by 2 and here we have 3 pi by 2 right so when we go from pi by 2 to uh, 3 pi by 2 Uh, it means uh, we have to uh, uh, consider the second quadrant and the third quadrant right and from trigonometry we know that uh, the um, uh, value of cos theta or the cosine function is uh, negative in the second quadrant and in the uh, third quadrant so cosine theta is uh, uh, negative uh, when theta it belongs to Uh, the second quadrant or the third quadrant so this fact can be written as cos theta is equal to uh, negative uh, whenever theta uh, lies between pi by 2 and 3 pi by 2 right so uh, this uh, mod function that is mod of cos theta is equal to minus cos theta uh, whenever uh, theta it belongs to the interval pi by 2 uh, to 3 pi by 2 right so this is due to the definition of uh, absolute value function so viewers uh, this is uh, an important uh, concept right so here uh, we cannot simply take the square root of cos square theta as positive cos theta right because we have to consider or we have to look at the uh, limits also right because uh, uh, here theta varies from 3 pi by 2 to 2 pi by 2 and uh, uh, the square root of cos square theta which is mod of cos theta uh, should be taken as negative of cos theta because cos theta is uh, negative uh, when theta lies uh, between pi by 2 and 3 pi by 2 right okay so now here we have 4 and we have 3 pi by 2 2 pi by 2 and here we have minus cos theta due to this definition and here we have cos theta right and now uh, uh, here we can write minus 4 we can take this negative sign outside and we have 3 pi by 2 2 pi by 2 and cos square theta d theta right so now uh, from trigonometry we know that cos square theta is equal to 1 plus cos 2 theta over 2 right so this is an important uh, identity and here we'll make use of this identity right so now we can write uh, this uh, integral i as uh, minus 4 then we have uh, 3 pi by 2 2 pi by 2 and uh, here we have 1 plus cos 2 theta over 2 and d theta right and uh, these two get cancelled here and we have minus 2 uh, 
and 3 pi by 2 2 pi by 2 1 plus cos 2 theta d theta right now here uh, the integral of uh, 1 d theta is uh, simply theta and the integral of uh, cosine 2 theta is half uh, sine uh, 2 theta right and the limits are from 3 pi by 2 to pi by 2 right so now we have to just uh, substitute the limits the upper limit and the lower limit and we'll take the difference right so we have minus 2 and uh, when we have pi by 2 we have pi by 2 plus half sine uh, 2 pi by 2 that is pi and uh, uh, then we have 3 pi by 2 and uh, here we have half then sine 2 times 3 pi by 2 so we have uh, sine uh, 3 pi simply right okay so now uh, we know that the value of uh, sine pi is 0 so this term is 0 and uh, uh, the value of uh, sine 3 pi is also 0 so this term is uh, uh, also 0 and uh, now uh, we have minus 2 and this is pi by 2 minus 3 pi by 2 and this is minus 2 and pi minus 3 pi is minus 2 pi over 2 and uh, uh, if we simplify it 2 and 2 get cancelled minus minus plus so we have plus 2 pi right so the value of uh, this integral is uh, 2 pi right and here uh, I would like to mention one important thing sin pi and sin 3 pi is 0 due to the fact that sin n pi is equal to 0 and in this case n is 1 and in this case n is equal to 3 right so viewers uh, this is how uh, we solve this problem and it this problem it requires very important concepts uh, in mathematics